The Illinois primary is now just eight days away, and one race that's being really closely watched is the Democratic fight in the 7th Congressional District. Incumbent Danny Davis is running for his 15th term, but he has four opponents this time. Two of them are considered serious challengers. Political reporter Marian Ahern joins us now with the latest. Marian. Marian and Alex, many primaries are uncontested, but the 7th District, it has seen a shift in its boundaries, taking in parts of downtown, the west and south, loops as well as Oak Park and Maywood. Davis won't promise but suggests this could be his last campaign. I think there are some pretenders running for office. Congressman Danny Davis who recently received Governor Pritzker's endorsement says his experience is an asset not a detriment. I can out debate. <laughs> I can out think. <laughs> I can out talk. In DC, they're not fighting over what's right. We need someone that is going to fight with Republicans on protecting women's rights. City Treasurer Melissa Conyers Irvin isn't the only one making Davis uncomfortable. Keena Collins is also causing a stir as the progressive in the race and is facing negative TV ads. We're running an innovative campaign, very energized campaign, and, and we're the top target. Conyers Irvin has the support of the Chicago Teachers Union. She's also in the midst of an ethics investigation for firing two staffers and could face a hefty fine. That question has not come up one time because residents are looking at how are they going to keep food on the table for their children. I'm stunned that she's in this race. Um, I think being concerned about being the congresswoman should be the least of her worries. In all, there are five Democrats on the ballot. Nikki Batia and Corey Marshall running as well. At 82 years old, Davis's challengers suggest it's time to pass the torch. We've never made this about his age. I think the voices of seniors is just as important as first time voters in this district. Residents have said it is time. They are ready for someone new. Might this be your last election? It just might very well be. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Davis considered retirement this year, but then chose to run for reelection. Upsetting an incumbent is not easy, but this will be one race to watch next week. And he has seen those challengers come at him more and Before. more every year. Right. Every Keena time. Collins, this is her third time, and that, I think, is what made Melissa Conyers-Irvin say, wait a minute, I think I want to get in on this. All right, we'll see. Thanks, yes. Marianne.